All right, everybody, good evening, good morning. Welcome to Against the Public for June 14th. I'm Dana Lane. I, I watched that video back yesterday, and man, I'm, I'm, I'm coming in hot every day. So, um, and hot meaning I'm a little bit too loud. So I apologize if your speakers were up. I, and I, I watched that video, I'm like, man, that's, that's really loud to begin with. But I did it again today, I think. Sorry about that. Today, we're going to go through my top three Major League Baseball free plays for Friday. And then we'll wrap it up with a trend involving pitching. And just how many games can we expect as betters for solid pitching to continue or for poor pitching to continue. And we'll go through it, those overall numbers. And I'll also go through each team, uh, or not each team, but we'll go through the teams that are the best and the worst at each category. You'll, you'll see what I mean when we get to it. After the show, please go to pickdogs.com where I'll have my top premium Major League Baseball plays locked and loaded. And of course, we'll have side and total in the Celtics Mavericks map, matchup. Jump on my single plays or tomorrow's MLB three pack for just $49.99. And every single play and every three pack comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee. You must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price. And of course, guys, I, I try to have something up for everybody. I try to have a package up there for everybody. And it's if there is something that's not there, or even if there's a price adjustment, we do have some, uh, we have price minimums that we have to have up there. So I do try to adjust it a little bit uh, if it's, if one package is not selling well. But uh, if there's something that you're you're looking at or something I'm overlooking, you know, shoot me a shoot me a message up on the YouTube channel, and if it makes sense, I'll put it up on the website because I want to make sure everybody can get involved. Uh, don't try not to shut anybody out. Of course, there's only one way to get involved with every single one of my plays, and we are less than two months away from the beginning of preseason football. This is the time to arm yourself with an all-access membership, and you could do that for the next 30 days for less than $11 a day, the next 90 days for less than $10 a day, or better yet, guys, get on that annual all-access pass that gives you every play that I release over the next 365 days for just $3 and 56 cents a day. And guys, speaking of the NBA, 56% winners over the last 30 days. That's the consistency you deserve. So jump on board with me tomorrow night when we have that, or tonight, depends on when you're watching this, but uh, for Friday night, uh, that's Celtics. Uh, Mavericks side and total will be locked and loaded and we've been crushing the NBA over the last month so make sure you get involved let's roll up our sleeves let's get to work get to pickdogs.com right now on to your free plays for Friday remember these are all probable pitchers so make sure uh, in the morning if it gets close to game time or in the morning make sure to check these pitchers but I think each one of these are good to go for tomorrow uh, 220 Eastern time uh, pro rotation numbers 901-902, St. Louis Cardinals against the Chicago Cubs. Cubs minus 111, 8 over minus 7, $1.07. Kyle Gibson against Jordan Wicks. Early betting patterns indicate that the Cardinals, and it looks like the over is going to be the side of the public in this one. Um, the high percentage so far is on the total tickets, uh, or the, the tickets, the total tickets. And said I get 77% of the overall tickets is on the over. It's always so strange when I have to write those things. But uh, it should be noted too, guys, that the wind is going to be blowing in at Wrigley tomorrow. 12 miles an hour is going to be the average. So a little bit of wind, but it's coming in. So make sure you uh, take that into account if you want to bet the total. Kyle Gibson gets a start for St. Louis and a start that I'm sure he's looking forward to. He's uh, practically a Chicago native, grew up in uh, Greenfield, Illinois, uh, which is a little bit more than an hour outside of Wrigley Field. He's been pretty good. I mean, he's probably the, I mean, an incredible free agent pickup, honestly. 4-2 and two record for the Cards, 3.76 ERA. He's coming off his third straight game where he pitched into the sixth inning, but the bullpen has constantly let him down, or let him down in a lot of spots especially in his last two, after he, he did pitch well enough to win. So I still have a lot of confidence in Gibson. Uh, Wicks's numbers have been decent. Five earned in 13 and two-thirds innings, 3.29 ERA, uh, but 3.76 over his last five. So a little bit, about a half run higher over his last five starts. One thing we know, Wicks is going to give us five innings. Then they're going to turn it over to a bullpen that's 25th in Major League Baseball. So I'm going to take St. Louis minus a dollar. 
$1.06. Six. Game number two, 6.30 Eastern time, 9.13, 9.14, New York Yankees against the Boston Red Sox. Yankees 55, $1.55 on the road, 9 over, minus 15. Uh, Luis Heel against uh, Brian Bayo. Uh, early betting is, it looks like it's overwhelmingly right on the Yankees. I mean, I, I thought this would come down after a while, but it's on the Yankees and the over right now. Uh, meaning, wait and bet this total a little bit later uh, and, until you know this number has stabilized. I don't think it's stabilized yet. I think we might be able to get some even money on the under uh, before game time. By the way, there are some nine and a halves out there, minus $1.20 uh, under. Matter of fact, there was a nine and a half minus 30 out there uh, that got brought down real quick. Uh, if you have nine and a half, jump on this right now. We know Heel's going to bring an incredible season to the to the hill 8-1 and one record sparkling 2.04 ERA 90 Ks and 75 innings he's gone eight straight starts without allowing more than three earned runs Yankees have won eight straight games when heel starts and 11 of 13 and the reason why this number is as high as it is because Bale has five starts where he failed to have a quality start, five straight starts where he's failed to have a quality start, uh, with 20 earned runs in 26 and two-thirds innings, 6.75 ERA. I expect he's going to probably be in there for about five innings. He's going to hand it off to a bullpen that probably is going to have to pick him up again. Um, I think number, I think nine is a little bit too high. Uh, we are getting the right side of the juice on this, minus $1.05. So I'm going to go under the 9, minus $1.05. I think Bayo is going to give us just enough uh, before handing it over to that Red Sox bullpen that will nail it down. And then it will become a pitcher's duel the last part of the game. So we're going to go under 9, minus $1.05. And then 940 Eastern time. 9.25, 9.26, Chicago White Sox against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks minus $1.75, 9 is your total, dollar ten each way. Chris Flexen against Ryan Nelson. Very few tickets have been wagered on this game. It's a late game, so that's not uh, out of the ordinary. But so far, uh, we've seen Arizona and the under have taken the early lead for public betting. We've also seen some professionals... Uh, grabbed some pretty decent numbers. There was an under wager at Caesars in Iowa, nine and a half under minus a dollar thirty. They, they, I would have jumped on that too. And then an over wager, eight and a half at FanDuel and New Jersey. So the consensus number right now is settles in at nine. Again, one of my favorite angles where I th where I have two starters coming in with massive ERAs. A pretty reasonable total, and I think that you're going to see some buyback towards the over. But uh, when we have the White Sox involved, who are dead last in Major League Baseball and runs scored by by 30 runs, by the way, it's not like it's close. Uh, the, the next closest team have scored 30 more runs than the Chicago White Sox. I'm not excited uh, to expect the Diamondbacks to carry a six, seven, or eight run load just to push this game over the total. So I'm going to go under nine as your third free pick. And before we close the show, here's your handicapping tip for Friday. Today I wanted to focus on how long do teams give betters quality pitching on an average? And, and it, I mean, and, and they. You could use that as a positive, and you could also use that as a negative. Meaning, what are the results in games, uh, say, game four, after three straight games of allowing three runs or less? Three straight starts allowing three runs or less. How long does that go on for? And these are interesting numbers. Uh, we're going to use three runs as kind of our barometer uh, that's not total. That's that's total runs, not earned runs. So if you're if you're kind of keeping track of this yourself, it is total runs, not earned runs. And one game where uh, uh, a team has allowed three runs or less, we'll start with that game. One game where they've allowed three runs or less. What is their record the next game? Well, the record is 124 and 151, minus 20.53 units. Cleveland's 9 and 2 in this situation. The Cubs are 1 and 9. Um, and what you can take from that, and we'll kind of do a synopsis at the end, but what you can take from that is something that I always tell everybody I don't care what the sport is, don't take what you just saw and equate it to what you're going to see. So, for instance, 
one if if a team allowed three runs or less in in their previous game, their next game they're 124 and 151. That's what you you can take from that. Now, if they've gone two straight games allowing three runs or less, their next game, game three, is 50, they're 59 and 67. Again, under 500. Yankees six and two in that situation. Houston and Texas one and five. And if they they've gone three games allowing three runs or less the next game game four 24 in 34 texas 0 and 3 in that scenario scenario this year four games 8 and 18 minus 9.26 units lost and if they've gone five games their sixth game three and seven only eight teams have done that uh, this year so again that is a lesson of hey let you know we want to look at recent form but sometimes it's better to look at recent form to the negative than it is the positive because at some point we're going to get in as you go through most starting staffs. I mean, most teams can't go four deep in a staff. Uh, the, the great teams can go four deep in a staff. So this completely makes sense that there is really no scenario where the team that allowed less than three runs uh, in, in their previous game is the team that you want to bet on the next game. It's it's an interesting because there's no no scenario here, whether it's one game, two game, three games, four games, or five, uh, where any of these teams are over 500 in their next game. So very interesting. Now, let's flip it around. What if they've allowed four runs or more? How long do we stay with them? Well, <laughs> interesting. If a team allowed four runs or more, their next game, they're 162 and 199, minus 13.58 units. Colorado's 9 and 11 in this situation. Actually, they're to the plus because uh, the majority of the time they're an underdog. So 9 and 11 are plus 6.26 units. White Sox 3 and 19, the game after allowing four runs or more. If they've allowed four runs or more for two straight games, their next game, teams are 98 and 113. Reds are 7 and 2. Again, the White Sox. 2 and 14. Three games or more, allowing four runs or more, 56 and 67. Angels are 4 and 2. White Sox are 2 and 10. Four games or more of allowing four runs or more. The next game this is actually the one area where the where a team's over 500 is 35 and 33. Not by a lot, but now we're getting into a lot of underdogs because the units one is 7.37. White Sox are two and six in this scenario. And a, a team that has gone five games of allowing four runs or more, the next game, at game number six, the team is 14 and 18. And of course, the White Sox, once again, uh, round up that category with, with a one and four mark. So the, the, the moral of the handicapping tip is don't get so caught up. Don't get caught up in what you just saw. That is a terrific uh, rule of thumb for most sports. Uh, but don't also also think just because a team is lousy that they must bounce back. Isn't that weird how we think that? We think, well, you know, especially when a team is bad, we think, well, a team is due. So that really goes against the do theory that you hear, you know, quite a bit. Well, you know, the Edmonton, Edmonton Oilers, they, they lost the first two games at Florida, so they're going to bounce back. Well, according to... According to game uh, game three in, Ed in Edmonton, that did not happen. And game three in Dallas, that did not happen in the NBA side. So don't get so caught up in what you just saw. But negatively, maybe make sure that a lot the poorer teams are going to run a longer um, a longer span of being poor than the good teams are going to give you a longer span of being good. If that makes sense. And of course, with the poor teams, you're going to get uh, you're going to get a lot of plus money as you uh, move towards uh, move towards a uh, uh, the longer trends. Uh, the good, the better teams, the pl the uh, teams with the good good pitching, you're going to obviously get a lot of. Uh, 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 <laughs> Sorry, you get a lot of favorite money there too. So uh, it's interesting. I'm kind of trying to dissect this as I as I look at it right now. But uh, what's very interesting that the one thing that pops out here is a team that is coming off allowing three runs or less are 124 and 151 this season. 
Um, that is that blows my mind. So uh, make sure that if you see a team at a quality pitching the night before, maybe look to go against them the night after. Okay, we're so deep into this. Believe me, if I if I uh, uh, if this was early in the in the uh, video, I would do it again. But. You get what I'm trying to say on this. And if there's anything you'd like me to research, just drop me a comment on the YouTube channel. I'll get to it if I have the numbers. I have a ton of numbers, so make sure that if you do have something that you're curious about, please let me know. That does it for your Friday free, free play and tip, mercifully. Now go to PickDogs.com. Get involved with one of my many available packages, including my all-access pass that gives you every game I release for one low price. Here's your Friday recap. St. Louis minus $1.06. Yankees Boston under nine and White Sox Arizona also under nine. We two and zero oh yesterday. We have one push, so we'll hopefully we'll have another perfect night on Friday. That does it for today's show. Thank you to everyone who continues to watch. I appreciate all, appreciate all the comments. Please hit the like and subscribe button uh, for against the public. I'm Dana Dana Lane. All best to you and your plays on Friday. My goodness, it's going to be a long weekend.